Learn to use your online class space for the Graduate Diploma of Professional Psychology and the Masters of Psychology Clinical. We're aiming to learn how to log into the student portal and navigate around. We'll look at staying informed, what to do in the class spaces and how to find and submit assignments. We'll also look at the Professional Psychology Program's Moodle site, which has resources related to the ACAP Psychology Clinic, as well as placements and research. There's a link to the student portal on your college website, up here in the top right. You can also go directly to the student portal at this address. When you arrive at the student portal, click on the login button. If you're a new student, your username and password will have been emailed to you before the start of your course. If you can't find your login details, click here and there are some different options for sorting out your login, including talking to a real person at the IT help desk. When you log in, you see this page first, and it's a good idea to keep an eye on the college news and campus news. There are options at the top here for the news, which we can see now, then an option to go into your online class spaces. You have a link to your personal details here, to your enrolment information, your academic results and your financial statements. There are also buttons to these sections up here. At the very top right, you can log out, change your password, or go to your student email account. And also go to the IT how-to guides and the IT help desk. As well as using this link to your online class spaces, you can also use a drop-down menu at the top here. This is useful if you're a continuing student, as the menu has a link to the archived classes you did up to trimester 2, 2016. Let's go into current classes now. Here you'll see a list of the units you're enrolled in. Let's go into Psychology Practice 2. Each unit has a unit plan, which gives you an outline of the content of the unit, including the learning outcomes, assessments, textbooks and assessment policies. Here in the Learning and Teaching Process section, it explains how this unit includes placement work in the ACAP clinic. Some units have placement components and some don't. The unit plan is where you can find out if a particular unit has placement. When a unit has a placement component or a research component in the master's program, there'll be links in the class space to the Professional Psychology Program's Moodle site. This site has information on the ACAP clinic, placements, research projects and student issues. The announcements forum here is where your teacher and other school staff will post important information about the course, so keep an eye on this. The discussion forum is for you and other students to ask questions about the unit and discuss the content. Your teacher is part of this discussion forum too, and it's public to the whole class. If you have a private question, email is best. Find the names and contact details of your teaching staff here. Now, what do you need to do each week for the unit? Let's take a look. This unit has a series of seminars from weeks 2 to 10. Different units have different activities, such as lectures or case presentations. Whatever type of activities are included in the unit, you'll find the information and resources you need in this section of the class space. You can also check the unit plan to find out what the schedule for a particular unit is. Next we have the assessments. There's an overview of the assessments first, and then more details on how to complete each one. These links here that start with a hand holding a paper are where you actually submit your assignments. OK, so previously I mentioned the Professional Psychology Program's Moodle site. Let's look at that. These links that talk about placements and the ACAP clinic will take you out of the class space and into the Professional Program site. Another way of getting to the site is from your My Classes list. So here we are inside the Professional Program site. We have some information and contact details for teaching and administration staff here. Then there are four sections, ACAP clinic, placements, research projects and student issues. Let's look at the ACAP clinic section. Here you have almost everything you'll need to work at the clinic. Groups information, forms, manuals, operations guide, referral list, etc. If I want to go to one of the other sections in the Professional Psychology Program site, I can click on this menu at the bottom here. I can also move through the sections with these forward and back arrows. The research section of the site is for master's students. There's a great resource on writing for research here. If you're doing a research project, come and check this out. Let's take a look at the student issues section. There's a discussion forum here where you can raise questions or give feedback about the course. 
You won't need all of the information in this professional program site right away, but just be aware that it's here when you do need it. Get in touch with us at Learning Support if you have questions about using your online class space or you need advice about study skills or assignment writing. Good luck with your studies.